What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. All right, so welcome back everybody. Um, so yeah, I ate already, so we are good to go. And uh, I just removed my BRB sign. And I wanted to take a look at the Citadel just to figure out what I'm working with before I jump into the sealed forest. Um, so yes, I do have a 2% production chance yield, so I was correct. And then the embark is 20%. Yeah, it's fine. Villager uh, fuel rate is lower by two. Villager speed increase. And patient is minus 16. Okay. Mm-hmm. Trader rival is 6%, 6, 6%, 6%, right? And I get a 20% Citadel bonus. And then if I finish this, whatever I've earned today or this past cycle from here, 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 and here, it's what I'm going to get as a bonus reward if I complete the Seal Forest. Okay. Um. So that means I should be able to get the 78 for the food stock, right? So I do that, that means I got... 8 left over. Can I do another upgrade? somewhere else it would still be okay twelve right I should be able to take the twelve because this requires sixty and seventy two Right, and then we're also going to get a shit ton after if I end the cycle at the end, right? I've got 20 now. So let me do the math here. So I've got 128 plus the 20 that's in the bag. It's 148. And then if I do this, I'll have 78. That 20 may not actually be what I get. Because I'm going to have to... I mean, actually, no, that's true, right? Because it cost me what? It cost me four to get in here. And I get five at the end. So, yes, I can bank... I can depend on the 20. Because it cost me four, and I'm going to get five as a reward. Which then puts me at 21 at the end of the run. So, that is... I could... I definitely can bank on that. Um, 40, 148 plus the 78, I'm looking at 226 at the end of the run, and I only re I really only want this, and so that is going to cost me 120 minus 72, so we're looking at 34, I can spend 34. I can spend 34. I don't know if I can spend 36. I might be cutting it close. But I definitely can spend this here. I can definitely spend that. I don't need that. That's an upgrade, right? I can't do this one because I'll lose. I, I need the frag. I need the, uh, the artifact. Hey, RB26 debt, uh, first time chatter. I'm not a beginner to strategy games, put 25 hours in a ATS and still finding it difficult going from Settlers to Pioneer. I think I need to be quicker with the Glades, but then I don't have the materials for events. Big difficulty curve. Love watching lurking your streams. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, it's not actually that hard going from Settlers, um, the Pioneer. Oops. Um, I mean, Settlers is really easy. Like, literally, 
the strategy for settlers is different from the strategy for pioneer like settlers you just basically open the walls and not even care about food because they give you like the the free food bonus so i don't even bother making food just basically open all the glaze as quickly as you can and just try to earn the rewards from the, the quest, the orders. And then uh, the trick is to make as much money and open the chest with the uh, tools. And then you take that tools and then you call the trader over and over. So if you watch my VOD from yesterday or two days ago, right? I actually did a Settlers run. Uh, it's it's easy. And my first run was Pioneer. That was easy, right? If you watch any of my videos where I did like the full profile reset uh, and I did want I did two profile resets climbing the citadel uh, tr uh, tree from scratch and trying to raise my difficulty uh, every time starting with Viceroy. I was able to do that and if you watch those videos you can probably pick up some strategy and tips on how to win and then I did another one where I did no upgrades to my citadel and um, I also got to the, the last, it's on pause. I haven't actually completed the challenge yet. I haven't lost yet. The last time was I finished at um, Prestige 12 already. And then I had to stop that because the Queen Hands trial got released and I had to do the event competition. But I, I should probably go back to that profile to see how far I can go without upgrading my Citadel. But yeah, there's a lot to learn from those those video series if you watch them on my YouTube. Yeah, I'll have to check out your YouTube out. Yeah, I'll watch a few of your recent uh, streams and VODs. Yeah, like even if you watch some of the older ones, anything that's got the word Prestige Seal uh, or Seal Force, those are still pretty valid. Not a whole lot has changed since then. So you can definitely learn a lot of strategies from those. Okay, I think I might go with this one, right? You have one additional option to choose from when picking cornerstones at the beginning of each year. Yeah, I guess I'll take that one. That's 12. I should be fine. I don't know if I should push my luck and go for one more. I mean, I will have an extra fragment at the end of this, right? That means I have an extra food stock. I will have one extra food stock. So hang on, let me, let me do the math one more time here. Seventy-eight plus the one sixteen. I can guarantee. Uh, I'm pretty certain I'll get 21 food stock at the end, right? That's like 215 total. Alright, 215 total. Subtracting... <clears throat> subtracting the uh, 60, subtract another 60, subtract another 70, right? Hang on. 215, subtract the 60... Subtract the other 60. Subtract 72. I only have 23 left. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot buy any of these. Otherwise, I will not be able to get this at the end. So I basically spent everything I could, right? Yep, I spent everything I could. That's fine. We'll get an extra re-roll chance and the fuel consumption reduction is going to help too especially the seal forest i really hope i can beat this <laughs> yeah i really hope i can beat this i've never done it on a lower difficulty before with a gimped citadel tree all right so we've got six on the top i'm gonna take the people I'm going to take the wood for sure. I'm going to take bricks. And I'll take the veggies. Because then I can make some uh, porridge, right? If I get a distillery or beanery. I should be able to get a beanery because we have a fox on our team. So we're looking at five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people total. We're on the sealed forest. 
it will cost us four to open this. We will get a reward of five. Right. And this is the bronze. All right, let's do this. What does it say? You're embarking on an expedition to the Seal Force early. Your mere presence here will trigger the end of the cycle, regardless of how many years are left. You have only one chance to reforge the seal before the Blight Sword comes. Oh, it's telling me that I'm leaving early, even though that means I have more time on the map, right? Hang on. I don't have any reason to stay on this map, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I could embark early. I don't think there's a reason to stay. Yeah, I don't see a reason to stay. I mean, other than trying to get more food stock, right? Another fragment and another food stock. But then that that makes my seal force... It makes this basically harder after if I try to go in, increase higher, right? Because number six, I believe six is... Is more building material cost. And then seven is the hunger. Yeah, I think this is fine. All right, so six, 78 food stocks. I'll get fragments. I'm I'm closing the seal force early. I'm gonna take the people, so that puts us at nine. Take the wood, take the bricks, and I'll take the veggies. Yeah, there's no reason to to take the bottom. Humans will will be able to tell me or lower my impatience, right? I haven't upgraded the finding, soil finding yet, but that's okay. This is all the stuff we're bringing, right? Man, this is gonna be a rough run. Let's do this. Yeah, one year early. Well, yeah, the last year I can do whatever I want, so it doesn't have to take any time. I mean, I could take all the time in the world if I need to. Okay, so... Whatever stuff that I destroy or deplete during the drizzle, I get soil. This is what soil reclamation is. It will basically splatter and make soil in the place of where the uh, the nodes are. Um, the roads, villagers walk slowly off roads uh, during the storm. Or they walk slowly if they're not on the roads, right? Yeah, off-roads decreased, so that encourages you to put roads down. Uh, no favoring or fla- uh, yeah, no favoring when the hearth is corrupted. And then double hunger stack, right? Or no, 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 right? Not hunger stack. It's basically they have chance of consuming twice the amount of food each break. Um... And 10% for each hostility level. So remember how I told you guys, this starts off at 0. So 0 is 10%, 1 is 20, 2 is 30, 3 is 40, at 4 is 50. And then once we go to 5, it's actually 60, and, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. It needs to say 10% for each hostility level starting at 0. Because when you read that... The first time I read that, I, I assumed that at 40 is 10%, because that's when it activates, and it's for each hostility level after 40, right? But no, this is actually starts at zero. It should say, like, for every hostility level, including zero. Alright, so here, this is our first time in the sealed forest biome on this profile. It says every trees that we chop, every 10 trees, we get two hostility points. Okay. And then this has a seal, the hidden seal somewhere in the forest. And then we get a beacon tower to help us, right? There's a little building that we can build that's got some perks. And then this one here is the trees some trees will have, um, the overgrown trees will have more charges for chopping the trees. Okay, and then the new thing that we added was the resolve drops faster, which is not that big of a deal. 
And then on this map, hitting the B key, which is the overlay, we've got two mushroom nodes. We've got three berry nodes, and then we've got two reeds. We do not have bricks or stones, but luckily we brought some. And luckily we have harpies to get us a 10% off of this. Right? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to be mad if I end up getting a beanery right after this. I'm going to be very mad if I get a beanery after this. I'm going to take the pocket carry. Because the... Because that is the best incense in the game, and we're going to need incense to solve stuff. Even though we do have humans... And lizard or humans and foxes, the porridge is a very good idea because we have the veggies, so we can make porridge, and we have mushrooms right in front of us, right? But I might get a beanery after this, and I'm gonna be mad that we get we we got this. This is useless after the beanery. And this is a good thing, right, for solving events. Plus, it's also the best biscuits in the game right now for us. I'll take that one. They really want us to get the distillery, right? Yeah, fair. Incense better for events. Yeah, I mean, we definitely need that to solve the events. Now, we're being presented with another distillery, so... I'm going to have to take it. Please don't be a beanery after this. Alright, so we got a fox house, we have an herb garden. Roots will do really well with the distillery, right, for the porridge. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the left. Because that could grind into flour as well to make the apothecary, right? We're going to take all that off. I'm kind of scared we're doing this at level... Prestige level 5. Okay. Um, all right, so let me let me do a little walkthrough on this because if you are brand new to the game and you're a brand new player, uh, this will be the first time that you have ever seen me play the Sealed Force Biome. So what is different about the Sealed Force Biome uh, compared to your normal standard town map? All right, so in the Sealed Force Biome, this is the, uh, the end game map sort of, where you can only enter if you have enough sealed fragments. And if you notice, when, while we were doing the, uh, the cycle town runs, we earned fragments, right? And those fragments, if we don't use it to close the seal or enter the sealed forest, those fragments get converted as extra citadel resources, surpluses, basically. So since this is our first time in the sealed forest, I do want to walk through what this means or how to play this. You cannot win the Sealed Force Biome through reputation gain. It shows a locked icon here. So let's say if I do get all the way to the left, the game is not over. I cannot win. Um, the, for the Sealed Force Biome has a thing called a hidden seal, this effect right here. There is a, uh, a broken ancient seal hidden somewhere in the forest. To find it, you must first look for clues in surrounding glades. Its mere presence in this land summons foul plagues upon your settlements during the storm. They are active only during the storm. Okay, so when it talks about the clues, uh, when you open a glade, there will be a uh, guardian stone. There's a thing that's kind of like a pointer. It will point to the direction of where 
the hidden seal is. It's kind of like, are you hot or cold, right? You know, when you're playing a game with somebody and they say, are, are you, you know, and they'll say like warmer, warmer, you know, cold or whatever, right? So it's, it's kind of like that where the seal, uh, the guardian stone will have less, this little arrow direction that kind of points in the direction of where the hidden seal is. And then as you go in that direction, you might open another one. So let's say it might point this way and it turns out that it, it's probably in here or something like that, right? So you go through here, this direction, it might actually be over here because then there's another guardian stone that says go this direction, right? So if you go here and then you go here, the arrow might go this way and the arrow go, might go this way, the two guardian stones. So that kind of gives you an idea like, okay, you can triangulate where the seal force is roughly. Um, so that's the guardian stone, the hidden seal mechanic. And I'll explain to you in a little bit about the, the, the strategy and the trick to using the, the hidden guardian. You can actually delete that, destroy it and get resources back. But the thing about the Guardian Stone is that once you find the Seal Forest and you open more glades, you will no longer get the Guardian Stones. So if you want the resources from the Guardian Stones, like just enough, um, don't open the Seal until last, until you get enough Guardian Stones where you're satisfied with destroying it. For example, uh, the Guardian Stones give um, stones and it also gives resins when you destroy it. When um, when you realize that this map does not have resins, right? Like the Royal Woodlands, you're going to go, well, resins are very useful for solving Glade events. I want 30 of those because I know for a fact that 30 is usually the magic number that's needed to solve events. So with that in mind, and the Guardian Stones only give you 8 resins, you generally want to open 4 four glades of any sort to get four guardian stones deconstruct it to get eight times four 32 that gives you exactly just enough to solve any event that requires resin so that's a trick you know instead of trying to you know farm or make the resins from the forester's hut or buy it you can at least stockpile 32 resins out or re that way right and then get rid of two if you want, but save 30 for an event solve. All right, so the trees on this map here, unlike the Royal Woodlands, you don't get resins, you don't get eggs. Um, you, you, get, you get wood, you get meat, you get sea marrow. Sea marrow is the um, item that's used as fuel. You can use that as fuel, or you can use that as event solve. So the thing about fuel, when you sacrifice them, a lot of people don't realize this part. Um, the top is fuel, basically it keeps a hearth going. The sacrifice here, all the sacrifice has different properties. You can't just go, oh, this, this, and this will we'll increase the, or drop the hostility. These two here does not drop hostility. The wood drops hostility by 50, and read that carefully, it's 50. And it uses 40 wood per minute. Um, here, coal reduces hostility by 80. The sea marrow, which is the thing now that comes from the walls, can increase your glade working speed. So if you are needing to finish something fast, like before the storm kicks in or something, or you need to beat a certain timer, like say you unlock the time orders and you need a certain event f finished fast. If you happen to have sea marrow on hand, you can sacrifice that on the hearth to increase your work, work speed, right? Right now we have foxes. Fox, for every fox in the uh, Glade Scout slot, it will decrease or increase the work speed by 5%. Five, five so two will, will be 10%, right? Um, it's additive, it's not, um, it's not multiplicative. Okay, and then the oil sacrifice, and I probably forgot to mention some of this, before oil does not lower hostility so a lot of times people go oh you have oil you can lower hostility no you can't oil is only useful uh, to increase the production speed so let's say you want something to be made really quickly uh, this is similar to how i was cranking up the water basically 50 percent the first notch and if i want something really fast i crank up to the third notch as 100 percent if you sacrifice three of this you can increase your work speed by 
Um, 75%. Generally, you don't want to sacrifice any of this unless you need to. So if you don't have to, I would avoid using Sea Meryl. But unfortunately, the mechanics of this map is a little bit different from the other maps um, because if you look at the hostility tree or the little info tab, notice now the keyword here is trees. It used to say woodcutters. So woodcutters no longer uh, have impatience uh, penalty. I, th I think it, like, it actually says that over here, right? Um, yeah, here we go. The, the, here's the description. Woodcutters don't increase hostility, but every 10 felled trees add two hostility points. So you can have as many woodcutters as you want. The hostility is not going to go up. But for every 10 trees that you cut down, uh, fully cut down, not charges, okay? So I want to clarify that. So if you roll your mouse over one of these trees, and I can't, I can't do it right now. Oh, there we go. Because um, sometimes you can't get that information on pause, but here we go. So this here, this this tree is kind of like any other tree almost in the Royal Woodlands, right? It's, they all have like two charges, right? All trees in the game has roughly two charges. Uh, Royal Woodlands will actually say plus 100%, right? So that means Royal Woodlands, you actually get um, every tree, every charge that you, you get, you actually get double. That's in Royal Woodlands. And on top of that, beavers can double that even further. Well, here, you don't see that plus 100%. That means this is like a regular tree, like every other tree, not Royal Woodlands. Um, it has a 10% chance of getting meat, 10% chance of getting that sea marrow feel, and 10% chance of getting leather. Uh, the theme around this, the lore, is that the trees are alive. They're kind of living trees. So that's why they have meat, you know, as a byproduct. And that's why they have bones. The sea marrow is kind of like the, the bones. And then the leather is kind of like the skin, so that's kind of how, kind of how you can look at the trees as they're living and they're alive. Now, there's this thing called the overgrown vegetation. The flora in this in this region is bizarrely mutated, right? So, this here has 20 charges, right? The negative effect of the 10 trees chopped down. See how it says zero slash 10? It's basically when the tree is fully depleted is not related to the charges so you you hit the tree you get the wood that is not felling the tree you actually need to deplete the 20 charges and that will count as one depleted tree so it is your best interest on this map to try to find as many overgrown trees as possible so you can get the best out of it before raising the hostility level now one of the other strategies that you can do is and this is a lot of micro, and I really don't recommend it, but it is possible to do. Um, pay attention to the to the individual tree, right? And here, for example, this one, right? Have one woodcutter hit that one tree, and then leave it alone. That does not fell it. That's how you can get one free charge, one wood, but not get the hostility increase. But if that too goes away, and it goes, you know. The second charge is removed, you'll get hot, uh, the, the counter, the counter here to increase, right? So once you get 10, it's multiplied by six. Now, the description here says, right, add two hostility points and hostility scales based on difficulty. So we are difficulty multiplier three, and that's why it says six. So it's technically is two, and that is correct. But then we are on difficulty three. So every 10 trees, we're going to get six hostility points. So how do you go about playing this map? Well, let's go ahead and drop down some woodcutters. And then this is going to be rough. Yes, it is going to be rough. Exactly. So during the uh, tutorial, I explained to you guys that if you click on this or you roll your mouth over it, it'll tell you, like, hold shift for a smaller marker, right? So I've got the marker selected. If you hold shift, it actually lets you pinpoint what you want. So my recommendation is to target just the trees 
that are 20 charges until you actually have nothing left that's 20 charges within your glade area now this play is a little bit different you don't want to just chop any tree in the glade to make space that's why you'll you'll probably see a lot of players instead of doing the park they'll revert to the smaller decorations because now you have to like stick in the the one by one somewhere else because you don't have the luxury of the two by two space anymore because the two by twos you want to use that to put um homes in all right and then the other trick or the other tip here hints i want to tell you go to your options and woodcutters hold the shift key and select only marked trees choose only marked trees otherwise they will actually just whenever they don't have anything marked they will just chop the nearest tree by choosing only marked trees they will stop and they will only take care of the yellow trees that's within their range so right now i'm i've marked these three here so when they are all filled, that's, th that's three total. I'm not at the seven or ten yet. And so here, personally, I don't like this mechanic, by the way. It, it really drives my OCD up the wall. Um, having to deal with this because I can't place nice layouts like I normally can. But the, the I guess the, the, the plus side is you don't have to do the sealed force if you don't want to. And uh, the seal force is only a one-time thing out of the entire cycle. So once you get all the seal force done, you've unlocked like 92 years. You don't actually play the seal force for like every 13 or 12 towns, really. Or, or you don't play it at all. You, you don't have to play the seal force. There's no real benefit other than the challenge. And if you don't like the, the mechanic of the challenge, then yeah, just continue farming, grinding your current difficulty on a regular map. Um, so let's go ahead and start. I mean, there are other mechanics too, um, but I, I won't explain that right now because it, it's not relevant and won't actually affect us related to the last stand. Uh, but it, I'll explain that when the time comes. It's, it, it definitely won't be in this map. So I don't want to provide too much information that's not going to make any sense until later and I've already starved everybody right so I'm gonna wait until everyone gets their little minus four resolved all right so I'm gonna move this over here I move this over here I'm gonna put some those dudes over there we brought nine people, right? So that should take care of all nine. So yeah, wood is a a premium on this map, right? Having wood would be a luxury. It's very scarce. Oh, delivery line, huh? I'll take it. That works perfectly with the distillery that we got okay um i'm gonna go ahead and work on that because we are gonna need it because five percent or ten percent is really still kind of low we and since we're not chopping a whole lot of trees i can't depend on the leather from the walls. And then speaking of, let's switch this. I forgot to do that. <laughs> you definitely wanted it. Get rid of your feel. Any other feel and having that last. Because that, you're going to need that for wood because you're trying to minimize chopping trees you don't want to chop all the trees in the world because once you get to a point where your hostility is high you cannot fall back to 
removing woodcutters to get out of the hostility like you used to during the storm. Whatever hostility you get, you're locked in. Unless you have some way to reduce hostility with like a cornerstone. Um, you know, the various different cornerstones like baptism of fire or the empathy or the, uh, the flame amulet where woodcutters... Actually, the flame amulet wouldn't actually even work on this map because woodcutters don't actually cost anything. So the flame amulet should not show up as a cornerstone because woodcutters don't have hostility um, uh, penalties. So the other ones I can think of is like maybe calming the forest if you find some empathy solves. A uh, chest that you open. A loyalty chest, right? Uh, the silent looting. And then a safe haven. That's another way to lower hostility, right? Um, and the only thing that will help me lower hostility would probably be put the, putting the fox on the hearth to reduce the values of the glade penalties. That's really it. So be very, very careful chopping your trees. And I have all the characters on the board, so I'll go ahead and look. All right, so this will give me more foxes. I'll take that now. Otherwise, it's going to take too long. And we're guaranteed foxes, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the right, because that's very useful. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. Okay. What I want to do is get that fox there for 30 seconds. Oh no. Oh, you know what? It's because of the hunger. Let me take this off. I, I yeah, I can't get that. I forgot about the hunger. I totally forgot about the hunger. That's okay. We'll have another opportunity to get them up. Before the storm is up. Okay. Come on, harpies. Eat your shit. There. Perfect. I'm gonna take it now so I can increase my people count. Mm-hmm. I'll kill ya. Oh, I should have waited, actually, before turning them in. I should have waited. I screwed up, guys. Alright, this is actually better. Then the distillery. Now I'm regretting getting the distillery, guys. I knew I was going to regret this. I knew it! I knew it. Alright. This right here is better than the distillery. Because... Because... There's a chance... 10% chance of the harpies giving you double yield, and they currently have 2%, so it's 12%, plus the 25 that have used the water. So we're looking at... 37? 37, right? We're looking at 37% chance. 
of getting, getting double yield off of this over the distillery. I feel so bad now getting that distillery. Yeah. Plus, I can make water skin, too. But this is still better at the end of the day. And I need to do that. Yeah. I think I only need one, right? Yeah, I only need one. Man, that sucks that I have to waste my distillery blueprint. Absolutely useless. And then I'm gonna be really mad when we get the... the beanery. Good god. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna go get my soda. BRB. Alright, I'm back. Um, let me put this away. Okay. So I slightly screwed up, by the way, if you guys didn't realize that I turned that in early before the queen was even at one point. So I wasted the full one impatient drop. So I slightly made a mistake there. I should have waited until it reaches the one so I can maximize that impatient movement. Come on. Stop having coffee breaks. Yeah, most likely I'll go in here. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, oh, so the other thing too about how the sealed force works is that during the storm, there will be a plague. Right, there will always be a plague a different plague type it's not always going to repeat it's not going to be the same i think they have like it might repeat if you go all the way but i doubt it i doubt anyone will go long enough to see it repeat but there's there's like over a dozen or so unique plagues during the storm and uh, what I've noticed is that it's always going to be the same set of plagues in a certain order at the start. After a certain number of years, that it does become a random set of plagues. I don't have the exact information in front of me, but if you play long enough, you'll know. Or if you go to the uh, the Hooded Horse Wiki website for the Against the Storm, there's a list there that you can see what all the different plagues are. But so far. The Plague of the Mosquitoes always occurs during the first year, the first storm. And this plague right here uh, lowers the global production speed uh, by 50%. And then one of the plagues might be something like, you know, food is draining fast. Or another plague might be like, hey, this year everyone's going to get like a minus five. Or something like this year... The storm lasts even longer by an extra 100% or something like that. Or another one might be like, you know, your food consumption, villagers eat more, uh, twice the amount or something like that, you know, by 50% more. So stuff like that happens like every storm season, a new plague will appear. So right now we've got global production speed reduction, and that is this one down here. Plague of the Mosquitoes. So whenever you're not sure, 
check the alert and then compare that plug name with the plug that's down here and that's how you'll find it. Wow, harpies are surviving the storm, huh? Hang on, hang on. Alright, I, I, you know what? Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna pipe this. I should have done that sooner. Because I want to maximize my yield chance. So here, I've explained earlier in the stream that the 25% production chance is is added at the top. So we're getting 27% chance yield. So I want to make sure I get that yield. And then I turn this off. Then they will continue to produce this with a 27% chance of producing the double amount. And I know that I'm going to need to install pipes if I want to do the pipe achievement, right? Or the pipe objective. Okay, so, uh, so I mentioned earlier, how do you win, right? Because I, I said, hey, you can't win through reputation gain. It's locked. Well, the method to win is by finding the hidden seal. Once you unlock the hidden seal or, or in the forest, it will present you with a bunch of objectives. You need to complete the objectives to all the objectives to win the game. And there's four stages to the objectives. I think they're four. Let me make sure there's four. Hang on, hang on. The first is like either pipes or chests. The second one is trading, right? Have trading standings. And the third is pay the money. And then the fourth is have enough water used or resolve. So yeah, there's four stages to the objective. So I am correct. Um, hey, let me, let me look it up just to make sure uh, the, on the wiki page. Yes, there's four stages to winning. And once you complete the four stage, you can actually win right away without having to move this bar to the left. You're not required to win because some people get confused and they think they have to fill up this bar and then finish the objectives. No, you can actually be here and finish the objective and win the game or win this town. So keep that in mind. The objective is, is the main priority, but first you have to find the seal to get your objectives. I already know what the objectives are because the objectives are already fixed. Some of them are retro, such as using water. And that's why I like to use the water early. Um, the reputation earned through, through resolve is another objective. Reputation earned through events is another objective. Those are retro. The caches are not retro. So if you get caches, you don't want to open them or solve them until you get the seal. All right, let's peek though. I don't want to take, but I want to peek. It's three, three, right? Darn it, the moment I got here, he goes AFK. Oh, I'm back now, ma Master Eon, Master Asian. Welcome back. Yeah, I had to go grab a soda. Um, so without fuel, you, uh, you want what? Buy fuel, buy oil from crops, or buy... Uh, three star coal. I don't. Uh, I usually buy wood. Uh, sorry, planks, planks, and then I just use the fuel from these things. I generally try not to buy fuel if I can. Uh, but whenever I see something that makes fuel, I definitely want to get those particular blueprints. And the fact that we're getting grain per minute, I would really like something that makes oil.
Oh, huh. I need to get another plank thingy, right? Because this requires it, right? I think the food ran out. Yeah, the eggs ran out. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm gonna install the tea house. Put the harpy on there. Oh, I forgot to yeah, get the trading post up. Another blunder. I've been fucking up left and right. Alright. We're, we're gonna want that harpy soon. Hello! Hello! Ooh, 29. It's not terribly bad, but I don't have the money. Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Do I want a building of my choice, or do I want ancient power? I think it's gonna have to be ancient power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. It's like the, what they say in G.I. Joe, right? Winning is half the battle. Knowing is half the battle, right? I think it's like knowing is half the battle. That's the G.I. Joe thing. Yo, Joe. Alright, so we're gonna install four easy, and that also gets us oil. We're definitely going to install four. We already have 12 to start. Okay, that's not going to help me right away, right? I'm going to go with the harpies. That, oh my god, that requires 10 harpies, right? But that gets us parts. I'm going to go with what I know. Yeah, 10 harpies. And I want, I want tools just in case. Yeah, I want tools. All right, well, let's peek now into these glades to see what we got. So Ancient Pack lets you look at all the glades, right? But if you open a forbidden or a dangerous, it kills somebody. Ooh, that's not bad. I don't think it tells you where the seal... Oh, that is the... Th okay, it does tell you where the seal is. Nice. But it also has blood flower. Not so nice. Well, that's shitty. We're getting blood flower, huh? It's a good thing we got ancient pack to be prepared. It does not have soil there, but there's soil right here. 12 is actually very good. Obelisk is very good. I want to go Obelisk. I want to go Rain Punk. Drizzle Water is good, right? Small Destroyed Caravan is something I will be okay with. Storm Water is not bad either. And it also has Mushrooms. And insects. Tincture is kind of crappy, but whatever. Withering tree is actually easy to solve. Okay. That's got the geyser in the back. Another obelisk. Ooh, small cache. Okay, so I want to go with that one right there. I want to go in that one. I want to get that small cache. Forsaken Crypt is not bad. It's pretty easy. Blight Rot Cauldron is a one point, but I don't need the one point. I need a, I need small caches. 
for my first solve. That's a large one, right? I don't want a large one. Knowing what I know how to play this, right? I, I want to get as many caches. Three, three caches, three small ones. Oh, the royal treasure stack. Ooh. Ooh, royal treasure stack. Ooh, there's a carpenter over there. Okay, or solve five events, right? It's the solve five events retro. Sorry, five, five reputation points. Damn it. I'm looking for small cash. Ooh, there's a beanery over there. Oh god, there's no small ones. There's only one that I found, but this is too far out. I have to chop way too many trees to get to that. A large one's kind of shitty. Well, I only have to send it, right? So I guess that one is fine. I'll go through that one. I don't have to solve it with tools. So this is number two, right? It's number three. What do you guys think? Will this go over here, or what do you think this one will go over there? It happens to go over that one. What is that one? Ancient burial site. What is ancient burial site? What is the very dangerous glade? What is the very dangerous? What do you mean the very dangerous? The hardest one? The hardest one is forbidden. Forbidden glade is the hardest one. I mean, look up my little crib sheets here. I have a crib sheet. I'm trying to figure out what the burial, ancient burial requirements are in the event that the stag runs in there. Oh, ancient burial is not that bad on the left. On the right, that is. On the right. Uh, hostility is increased by 15 points for every fallen tree. Yeah, so the one on the right... Ancient burial is actually easy to do. So if the worst case comes, I I can get to that. The one on the left sometimes give really good rewards. And that that requires Um Incense. And then requires food. 60 food. Alright. That ancient burial, huh? This is the royal treasure. I really hope it goes this way, though. And you know what? I'm going to save that last. And let it go this direction. Because I might actually do this one. So what I'll do is... I will pop this one. I will go into this one. And that has a medium, right? That might be easier to solve than the other one. I still need the other one, right? So Forsaken Crypt is money related. Forsaken Crypt. Yeah, it's money related. The left is fairly easy. If I don't have any money, Forsaken Crypt is actually very easy. Okay, I'm, I'm alright with that one. And it's got the medium cash, right? So, stones, I need to save up enough stones. Well, we'll get stones through the... The, uh, the guidance, right? The guidance. I don't need to go in that right away. If, if I don't have to. We'll go here. One, two, three... Destroy Caravan. What is that one? That's money related, right? Small Destroy Caravan. Yeah, it's 15 coins. And 9 provisions. And then ultimately we want to be in here, right? So this is 1, 2, 3. 2, 3, 4, 5, right? That's 4. That's more than we need. This was not terribly bad either. The withering tree, but I don't need that right away. I don't need that. 
I don't necessarily need that. It would be nice, but I don't need it. Okay, destroyed rain punk is kind of annoying. I mean, that could be the last thing I solve if I need to win by... If I need to win by, um... Whatchamacallit. I wonder where that would go. Interesting, huh? Tavern. Ooh, a tavern. A tavern. What else is available to me? That one's not a chess. The medium. Blight rot. Mm -mm. That might actually be better than going into this one. That does have a lot of clay nodes, though. Alright. Because that has storm water, so that means I don't have to go through this one. This Blight Rot Cauldron, I believe, it just uses fuel and bars. Yeah, fuel and bars. Or reed, which is this here, right? This is the reed material. So if I collect enough reed, I can actually solve this. Alright, I'm okay with that, because then the storm water I can use. And it's also got a medium cache instead of a large. Well, I mean, this has a large. We originally were going to go there for the large, right? So I just need to solve that medium. Oh wait, I actually don't have to go in that at all, right? I can go this one, two, three. But that has a medium and a large. I'm going to get the green off of this. Yeah. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through this one, this one, and then this one, and then... This one. And that gets me the soil there, right? I also have a 12 soil here. Let me take a look at my 12 soil. It's only 12, it's not that big of a deal. I think it's probably better to take this one because the, the my warehouse is a little closer. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do this one later. I don't know it's the soil, but I think soil here is probably better. It's closer to everything we need. Um, so that means... Let me move this out of the way. How many trees do I have to cut through to get to that? Yeah, okay. Two, three... One, two, three. Yeah, it's three. However you slice it, it's three. Actually, it's four on the top, right? Yeah, it's four on the top. Alright, so we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. And we're gonna go there. That minimizes the number of large we open. So one person's gonna die on that one. And one person's gonna die on that one. And this will be one, two, three, and four, right? So that's the four we need. Okay, all right. That one's not terribly bad, right? And later, one of the events is open, dangerous, complete dangerous. But we should be able to get to that. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, let's go in the three first and then take care of that one, right? I'm gonna cut through this guy. What's the most efficient way to cut through that guy? Oh god, I don't have a... I don't have an answer to that question. 
It's probably this way, right? I think that's the best way to get to that. Unless it's through this? I think however you slice it is the same. Yeah, it's the same. One, two, three, yeah, all right. All right, I can't afford the ranch. That's like, what, 35? I could afford the ranch. But I don't have any replacement parts other than this. Okay. What I need is a sea marrow node, right? I need something that's got sea marrow. If I get a node that's got sea marrow, that's even better. Ah, oh, shit. No sea marrow nodes. Hey, Safamio. Hey, Ron. Did you end up going over your porridge tips tricks in an earlier run? Was going to check VOD. Was talking about build order and stuff. What do you mean my porridge tricks and tips? Um. Well, since my recent VOD, I didn't have the the field kitchen yet. No. Um. But I did probably go over that or showed some of that but not necessarily walk in great detail in my queen hands trial if you watch any of the videos from the queen hands trial after i had unlocked the field kitchen you can see it or if you watch any of my prestige seal runs i i have already gotten the porridge the water mechanic done so any opening video you will see me use the water with the porridge in the field kitchen. I always do. I always do rainwater, kitchen, rain engine, right? Yeah, you referenced these those runs. Yeah, you, you can find that in all, almost all my prestige seal force runs. You will see where I always place this down as my second after the the woodcutters. And then you will always see, like, drop down a fuel kitchen, pipe it, and then start using it. Well, that's something you'll find. But once I unlock the fuel kitchen tonight, and the next time I stream with the fuel kitchen, I will actually do a walkthrough on how to utilize the fuel kitchen and piping. So that way it will be within this series. So players will be able to get that. Okay. All right, there's nothing. Okay, yeah, I do have enough, right? I do technically have enough. It's 35, but how badly do I want this? I don't know if I want it that badly. It might come back again. I'm looking for like... Oh, there you go. There's only like two of them though. There's only two of them there. I'm looking for sea marrow because sea marrow is I can harvest those for fuel. And I don't see any more sea marrows other than that large glade there. That's a lot of large... I, mean, I, could, I guess open through that and that, right? It's two is kind of small. Weak sauce. So I'm looking for sea marrow here. Oh, large pot. Oh, there's only one though. Ancient shrine. It really sucks. There's not a whole lot nearby. It's gonna. T it's too far. It really is too far. That stinks. It really stinks. There's one large there. But I was saving that for last. Oh, termite. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Okay, there's one large there. Yeah, that's kind of stinks. Three. Oh, there's three over. Oh, but it's way too far. 
This is going to be a problem. Because usually I would farm the sea marrows nodes for fuel. In this situation, I can't do that anymore. All right, I can't do any of that. All right, that's fine. Glade events, right? Okay, the rain punk is an event. Obelisk is an event. Obelisk is an event. So cash is an event. I can't solve the cash until later, though. And the blight rock cauldron is an event, right? Yeah, alright, that's fine. Um, this one is Blight Post. Shit. Let's go! Let's go! No. Let me take this off. Maybe I should have bought some wood off the guy. Did, um, was he selling wood? I'm sure if he was selling wood. Oh, you know what? Well, I don't need the soil there. I forgot I actually have soil reclamation. I totally forgot I actually had soil reclamation. I could actually get the soil in my starting glade. But I don't really want to. Because my starting glade is pretty cramped as is. I might not want my starting glade to have soil. I just want to probably use the soil off of this and then if the bushes give me soil that's even better. I think this is going to ultimately be my my main farm over here. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. I might change my mind. Alright, so let's see here. I need to get... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can get that 20% or 10% speed boost. Nope, no proc chance. Oh, I need to get... I need to get that too, don't I? I need one more piece of this, right? Jesus Christ. Yeah, we need another fuel source. This is not going to fly, guys. We need another fuel source. It's definitely not going to fly. Yeah, it's fine. One, two, three, four. I gotta re reduce this to little bits. And then it's every five years, right? Shit, we're, we're so screwed, guys. I need these foxes to give me a point. I need rain engine installed on two things. Tea house, apothecary. I don't know what the hell to do with this little sucker. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, I just pulled a small farm in time to get full value in year two drizzle, starting plus two grains for 19 amber from Zara. Is worth it or is it just winning harder? It's worth it. It's worth it. If you get that off of him in the first of uh, the plus two by year two, yeah, you're that is amazing. And I I try to push for that myself. So you got a good deal. If you manage to get that, right? That's something I would be like, yeah, that's a good deal, man. Plus two, you definitely will get value from that. Heard? Yeah, heard. Word. Do you like to force consumption of porridge when plentiful across the board or just... I will force consumption of porridge across the board. Yes, when I... Um, I will disable everything and tell them... Right, like that. And then everybody eats porridge, basically. That is... I force that upon everybody. Heard. Porridge consumption is key to life heads. Life heard. Joining the church starting next run. <laughs> heard. Word. Yeah, I need something that makes fuel. That should be my next targeted goal. Apothecary. God, I really hate how everything is right now. Okay. We already know where the stone is. Okay, so here's another trick, right? If you deconstruct your guidance stones, this is the first time I'm playing this map. I'm gonna walk you through this. Uh deconstruct your guidance stone to get your your resources back. Oh <laughs> since I am playing on the lower difficulty level. Since I'm playing on the lower difficulty level, the building material is less when I deconstruct this. That means I'm not going to get 32 from four glades. I have to open six glades to get 30 resins. But right now, since I already know what the board has, I know resin is not needed. Luckily. Yeah, resins is not one of the needed materials. Tink er, the withering tree might. Let me take a look at the withering tree, though. No, withering tree does not need resins. I don't need resins. Hidden Trader does not need resins. Blight Rock Cauldron does not need resins, right? Pretty sure Blight Rock Cauldron does not need resins. Yep, it does not need resins. And that does not need resins. Forsaken Crypt does not need resins. So yeah, in this situation, I don't have to worry about the resin. I wouldn't have known what they have or not, not have. So we're safe. We're safe. But normally it would give me eight resins. Alright. Resin is used for this though. Yeah, see, I knew that. Ooh, the left. Has seamer hull oh, has fuel. Oh, but I don't want to do that. I need the I need the reed too. I need the reed. Oh jeez. I need the reed to solve this. So I can't use read. There's six there, right? How many's left? There's fifteen. I need thirty. 
It's 25, right? That gets me exactly the 30 I need. The remaining is 15. I need another 15. 14, technically. If I want to solve something else. Or I get bars, right? I need bars. Alright, well, I definitely want the left. Because that's fuel. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh my god. Herb garden right, right there. I have to walk through walls. I don't like walking through walls. Yeah, I don't like walking through walls. Well, this needs to go. I have no other choice, right? Unless there's more reed camps. There's no more reed camps. Well, there is a reed camp over there with a royal. Oh, there's a royal. And you'll be royal. Okay, let's just do that. That's fine. That way it'll, it'll be removed, right? Hmm. I would like to get a warehouse over here. If I could. Yeah, let's get a warehouse over there. Hang on, what's the difference? We're at 10, right? What's this? Plague of Malady. 100% chance of consuming twice as much food during a break. Terrible. 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 Woodcutter's camp has no suitable trees. What are we at now? Okay, we could chop down another nine. And it'd still be okay. And get away with it, right? Uh oh, we tilted. What does this one have? Oh, pipes. Jesus Christ, I really want the loft. Yep, I want the loft. Really need this, though. This might actually be a better soil patch than the other one. I can't get off the three. Oh no. I can't get off that one. Oh shit, we're running out of water. We're screwed, guys. I don't know how to save the harpies. Well, I guess I can if I do this. 
I could do that, but that means the impatient grows. Yeah, that means that the impatient will grow. Hmm. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Glade event, right? It's water. Yeah, but I need the... I need the pipes, right, to install my rain engine. That's 10. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and take this. Ooh, there's a tablet here, huh? Okay. This guy here, that guy there. That guy there. Well, that's a nice little spot here to set up shop. Yeah, for sure. Well, what we could do is... No, we can't starve them. Yeah, we can't starve them. Is there a way to influence the choice concerning the colonists? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Is there a way to influence the choice concerning which colonist dies when you open a glade? No, you cannot. It's only, it's only during the, uh, Forsaken Altar can you pick and choose. But as far as the Ancient Pack goes, no. Alright, so 50% longer break and 100% food consumption. That one, I need a warehouse, right? Come on, man. Come on, man. You're terrible. Jesus Christ, you're taking forever. No coffee breaks! You fail me. You fail me. Many cooties. We have many cooties. No, we're shally. Where are all my 26 seconds? We'll wait. All 
Okay, extra axe, right? Gain two seam right? Yeah, I'll do the extra axe. Well, actually, reduction is quicker does not help us. That does not help us. A lucrative deal? Yes, that will help us because we're going to lose two people. Alright, two people are going to die. Two people are going to die. Somebody I used to know is going to die. Bolo. Mahalo. That's never going to happen. Opening two at the same time. More likely. Yeah, that's going to be more likely. Jesus Christ, I need more harpies. Okay. Um, hang on. Two and one, right? Eight, one. One piece of brick. Why stop there, right? I don't leave this for anything anymore. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, I know I'm going to need sex. I'm going to just buy that now. Yeah. 83. 66. Shit. Alright, that's four, right? I'm okay with that. Yes, do 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 Alright, so this one is fine. This one... I'm gonna wait until... no. Where are all my harpies? My herpes! My herpy friends. The children? Apothecary, right? No. I needed it for that. I already got the blight post, right? Yeah, I guess I'll throw it in there. Actually, you know what? I might need more of these. What can I give up, though, for it? Jesus Christ, an arm and a leg. It's 10. No. Definitely an arm and a leg. God damn it! Arms and legs! I, I'm gonna keep the leather, yeah. I'm gonna keep the leather. Damn it. Five. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that. It's reasonable enough. You get leather from trees. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to chop all the trees. At some point, I need to stop chopping trees. Right? some point, I need to stop chopping trees. So it is still a finite resource. So what's going to happen is, I need to cut through this. 
I need to cut through this at the same time. And then this here. One, two, three. Yeah, three. We'll go in there last. This is going to drain my food. That's the problem. Slight problem there. So that's going to give me what? Five, six, seven. Okay, that should be enough to open something there. Blight rot, right? We got the bars, right? The bars are going to be used to solve this. I'm going to pop through that, and then I'm going to pop through the other, the blood. So that means we're going to get this out of the way. This one, <laughs> I don't know where, how we're going to get that one. I mean, I really should go in there and just utilize the giant... The giant fertile soil patch. The artesian is not bad. Technically, I don't need the artesian off of that. I should have... I think as soon as I got that thing... I probably should not have taken this one. But the other alternative is, was using 75 beer, right? 75 beer is not going to happen. We'll see where this leads. We did not get the 11. Fail. Big, big fail. Big, big fail. Oh, I guess it did splatter over there, huh? Yep, that splattered. It might be useful to get this. We'll see. It might actually be better to do this side. This is not going anywhere. This is the year that I needed to remove five, right? Maybe. Okay, so I need to solve one more. Hmm. Ponder goes whether I should take that or not. Probably not a good idea. That's people. Guys are right. Okay, let's take a look at this. Figure out what's going on here. The brewery, right? Or the oven. We have no way to make flour. I think lapped is probably the best bet. Plus, I think I still need to do the brewery tavern farm, right? And I think there was a tavern over here. Yeah. So I technically could do this right here. Small farm, brewery, tavern. If I get into this ultimately, right? What's a dark gate going to do? It's a dark gate requirement. Dark Gate. 
can kill people on the left, but there's no benefit in killing people. The one on the right is a plus 300 hostility and also... And also minus 10. So that's like what? Six? Six points. It's gonna might. Okay. So Dark Gate is gonna be minus 16 hostility. If I go into the Dark Gate. Hmm. I mean, that one is almost the same as this one, right? Except for this one has water and the other one's not. I might want that one. Because it's got sea marrows. Yeah, I think it's a mistake going this direction. Hang on. Is that opening... Hang on. I think that does cut inside, huh? No, no, let's not go there. <laughs> I think I changed my mind, right? I changed my mind. I think I want this one. Because this gives me closer access to this. Because the tavern, I think, could be useful. And the dark gate's not that hard to solve. Eventually. If I can figure out how to get the tablets. Did I get a tablet? I don't know if I got a tablet. Let me get a tablet. That has a tablet. I might want the left. Alright. Brewery, right? Brewery it is. We will brew. Yeah, I guess I'll take the tablet. And that gets me six, seven, eight, plus the five, right? Six, seven, eight, plus the five, that's 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, okay. I need to get this as quickly as possible. And I need to get Harpy Holmes, right? Which means I need to cut through this. Yeah, I need to cut through that one. We will be royal. Actually, right here is not a bad one because these guys actually pretty solid chops. Yeah, those are solid chops. You know what? I'm gonna leave this off here. Because I, I want to get an herbless in there. Yeah, we'll just do an herbless in there. Can I get my hearth in here? I might be able to get the hearth in here too. Well, the hearth is down the street, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, but technically the hearth is just down the street. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to build a hearth right here, right? Somewhere near here, right? Yeah, okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I don't have any pipes yet. Not yet, anyways. Raptula. Soon. So we got, we want to install more, right? Hey, thank you for that follow there, Tomo Mo. Tomomo. Tomomo? Tomomo. Tomomo. We need to get that one right. The obelisk should get me something. Yeah, the obelisk should get me something. Hang on. If I can avoid... Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna try to stop on the last one. <laughs> if I can. What is this? 100% longer storm? Yeah, all right, I already knew that one. It's not a big deal. It's five. Easy peasy. Oh, I forgot to enable the water. So I was missing out on the proc chance there. Production chance. I'm going to go ahead and turn this in. Oh, wait. That adds three people. Three times six? It's 18? Hmm, I'm not quite sure if I want to add people right now. There's no benefit to taking that. Yeah, there's no benefit to taking that. But the harpies are pissed. We don't have harpy homes, right? Shit, no harpy homes. Okay. Alright, you guys can come out. Have a ball. Have a blast. Blow shit up. Alright, what, what else can I install rain engines on? Brewery, right? Distillery, maybe, but not really. Brew. Re. Brew. Re. Brew. Re. Brew. Re. Sure. I need to put this somewhere else. This thing is kind of a a drag. We're running out of space, guys. <laughs> We're so running out of space. It's five charges on that guy, right? Three charges. One more. Alright, let's not take this tree anymore because it's done. I don't want to fell that tree. The idea is not to fell the last charge. On that one. Yeah, we'll have to pay attention to that one as well. Okay. Okay. 
I'll take you off. You can go there. We'll be royal. The tea house makes the water skins, but that requires some meat. So let's go with 15. And we have Arby's. We have some meat. Okay, we have oil there at our disposal. That's a good thing. Okay. Waiting on this guy to cut through this, right? Okay. We already know where the seal is. Ooh, meat. Huh? Containers. Oh, I did give up all my resins. Well, we always make this, right? Question is, do I want the left? I probably want the left. So I don't have to worry about the food. We'll have to figure out how to lower hostility somehow, guys. So I want to break through this and then this as my two choices. And then that should solve the chest. How many wood? I should have enough to take care of the medium, and then I should have enough stones to take care of the large. Right. Oh shit, you know what my mistake was? Oh shit. Oh, I just made a big mistake. I solved the cash first and it's not retro. Fuck my life. I solved that little cash before I need. Oh, fuck my life. I don't have enough stones. Oh, I made a big, big mistake because the event is send three abandoned cache, not retroactive, or install the rain engines. Big, 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 big mistake, guys. I think I might have to do the distillery installation. There's only two chests there. How many chests is in here? There's no chests in here. Oh, fuck me. I made a big, big, big mistake. Oh my god, I definitely made a mistake, guys. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I hate it when I make mistakes. Alright, so my other choice is the... 8 engine installation. Damn it. That was a blunder. That was definitely a blunder. Alright, I should be able to go to the tavern. <laughs> we have a brewery. Alright, that's fine. Dark gate, right? Let's dark gate again. Dark gate's really hard. 
Dark Gate is really hard. Two. One, two. Three. Four. One, two, three. Four. Maybe five. This is bad, guys. I really screwed up. 14 seconds. Terrible. Terrible deal. Terrible deal. Oh, survivor bonding. I'll take it. Survivor bonding gives plus one to everybody. And resolve. Alright, I don't have enough pipes for that. But I need to get into that, and I need to be prepared to lose the food. We need flour, right? We need a way to make flour. I need harpies. Yeah, I guess I'll take the harpies. Jesus Christ. I need six more harpies. This is terrible. Terrible. Alright, I think I will probably stick in the... Oh shit, I forgot to pay attention to that one tree. Oh, I let that one tree go down. Fuck me. There was that one tree that I wanted to stop chopping. Oh shit. I fucked up that one, guys. Again. I'm such a failure. I'm a failure in life. This is not going to fit the housing in here anyway. <laughs> How am I going to fit more houses over here? That's not going to work, is it? It's probably big shelter homes. Technically, I guess I could stick in a big shelter home in there, right? Well, I need to stick that in there now anyways, just to lower hostility down. That's fine. I already know about that one. I'm prepared. Oh my god, the left is actually really good. Oh my god, the left is really good, but it's okay, it's okay. We just gotta take what we can. Hey, thank you for that follow there, soul soldier boy yartelium. Soldier boy yarn tellium. Thank you for that follow. Alright, so this one. It's not bad on the left. It's terrible. It's 40, right? And you have enough. Oh, you know what? I also need to start trading too. Hang on. I need to open this now. Yeah, I need to open that now. So that one I should have enough, right? 13. 13 plus 2? Oh, well, I gotta get 2 from somewhere. I gotta get 2 from somewhere, guys. Well, that's a pack of building materials, right? 7 of these. 
You do have planks. Okay, you do have planks. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take care of that now. We'll take care of that now. Um, I want to buy the planks. I'm going to go down to three. That's fine. What else can I get? Oh yeah, I wanted some of this. Even more so. I don't need the money for anything, right? I'm pretty sure I don't need the money for anything. Well, hang on. Somebody's going to die here in a second. <laughs> so, that's free money. Shit, he's leaving. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Hang on, before he leaves... How much is this? 16, right? That I should be able to solve. In an 8. So, 8 and 16... Because I'm probably going to pop this one, too. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm going to pop that one, let me... Let me um... That's just one, right? It's fine. Let's just pop this one. Because I can solve this one for the one point. I need the second large. Hello! Fuck! I let go! Fuck! I let go! Shit. Unpaused by accident. Oh! I unpaused by accident! That's not good, guys. I wanted... I wanted the... The planks and the fighting gears. Oh, that is bad. Fuck me. Alright. I screwed up on that one. I screwed up. Stupid fat fingers. I let go of my space bar again. I keep messing up on that. Let me see if this next trader has what I need. I fucked up. He does not have fighting gears. Oh, I needed the fighting gears. Fuck. I needed the fighting gears. Clove the year. We already have grains per minute, so technically we don't need the farm. I mean, it couldn't hurt to have the farm. Yeah, actually, it couldn't hurt to have the farm. But the clothier is actually overall better. To get everybody happy, or at least the two people, right? Screw it, I'll take the farm. Fuck it. Because it's definitely better than the herb garden. Because the herb garden can't get us the flower over time. Enough. Yeah, this is actually better right there, right? 15. Oh my god, I'm so mad! How I fucked up. I'm so mad how I fucked that up. Hurry, please. I got two minutes. Alright, somebody died. Scout? Scout died. Wait, Scout died? Oh, Scout died. It's probably this one. Alright, same... Same as the first! Same as the first. Oh, you know what? They're probably taking forever because of that. Hmm. 
Okay. We should be able to get the loft. Well, we'll wait, Ashley. I don't want to make the same mistake again. I don't want to make that same mistake twice. Do not solve caches early. And then now... Yeah, I can do that. That's fine. And then now you can open this. I don't really care if you do or not. Alright. Harpies needs to survive. That's all it is. Alright, we don't need oil for a solve. I'm pretty sure we don't need oil. Yeah, I don't think I need oil for anything. None of these use oil. For solves. So it's one, two points, right? Two points. And you... Okay. I need like 30 of these. So I got four already. Hopefully she procs one. And then somebody died. Harpy T. Oh, come on. The Harpy worker. No. We love our Harpies. We love our Herpies. We love our Herpies. Alright, this is not going to work out for us, is it? You're working on that, that's fine. And now... We need to open three, right? Or install three. Alright, I need to install three. So we've got the distillery as one. Ooh, the monastery. I'll take it. Oh, no. I need bricks. Wasn't there bricks in one of these things? Yes, there was. Oh, but we didn't get the stupid training gears. Oh, God. Fuck my life. Ash, monster. Oh, my God. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Oh my god, this is like the first time you've raided me, thank you! This is awesome. Welcome raiders! I appreciate that, let me give a shout out to Ash. A TW, right? There you go, wow, thank you for the raid! I appreciate that so much, by the way. Thank you everybody for following. We just got done with some Against the Storm, so it worked out perfectly. Oh, I didn't know you were raiding Against the Storm. I wasn't having my Twitch window open. Well, thank you. How did it go? What did you... What did you do? Prestige, or... Did you do a seal run? I should check out your VOD later. Yeah, just did Prestige 1 and then did the integration. What the? Oh, yeah, the Twitch integration. Oh, that was fun. How did that go? Yeah, I, I disabled my Twitch integration because I usually don't stream with that. Well, that's exciting. Did you only do one town or did you do two towns? The Twitch integration made her life so much harder. Yeah, I bet. It's been so long since I played needed to warm up again. It was close. Chat was bully? Oh no. 
You know, Ash, the trick is, the trick is you can also disable, you can also disable the, um, the, one of the, um, there is a, uh, oh, it's not here. It's, it only shows up when I log in. So you can also disable the force mystery and just have people show up as guardians only. So it could be more of a relaxed, chill vibe run where anyone, anyone can join your town. And the only thing they can do is help you and they, and they can't join the Force Guardian. Or another trick is, yeah, it's nice. I didn't know that. So I do that. So another trick is if you do want to enable the Force Guardian, right? If there's a certain, if there's a certain negative modifier you don't want them to do... You can actually put it in your ban list, right? So that they can't enter that in to chat. So the poison is the one I actually banned when I was doing the Twitch integration for a while because it just I didn't like the uh, the poison. So that's so smart. Yeah. So I disable the poison because I actually told developers like, look, this poison thing is not fun on Prestige because the fact that I'm already having a food drain and a hunger drain. You're adding a permanent blood flower effect forever if they all went Force Guardian poison. So I I actually put in the uh, the ban command for 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 the poison. Yeah, so that's something that you can do too if you don't you know if you don't like the poison. Yeah, welcome everybody. I appreciate uh, the raid. And your birthday is next week. How exciting! Have you had a chance to check out um, Rogue Trader Warhammer? That's because people are saying that's very similar to to the um, what is that game? Uh, Baldur's Gate Three, and War Tales is also similar to Baldur's Gate Three. So I think those games are kind of up your alley too. If you're if you are looking for something to play that's recently released. War Tales has got a um, DLC coming out, I think today. Yeah, the, for War Tales, it's got pirates. All right, so right now I am playing the Sealed Forest. And in the Sealed Forest, it's got a different game mechanics than the normal game mechanics where you win through the reputation. So in the Seal Force, I don't know if you've had a chance to play the Seal Force, Ash, but um, the Seal Force basically locks and prevents you from winning the game through reputation. So getting the blue bar to the far left is no longer possible. And the only way to win is through the Ancient Seal. And I have to complete one of the three objectives here. And there's a total of four so every one of these objectives, there's a different thing. It's kind of like assembling uh, the four parts of or the five parts of Exodia card, right? So you have to complete the heart of the guardian and then later the blood of the guardian and the feathers of the guardian. And once you get all four parts, you summon the seal guardian to close the seal. And this is the last sort of like the end game of the cycle. And right now I'm on the end game of the cycle that requires, hey, thank you for that follow, Rebin. And so the end game here, um, you have to try to complete all of these four parts before the queen reaches red. Winning through the left hand resolve is not a way to win. So you can see the block, the little icon here. It says this game cannot be won by earning reputation. You must find and close the seal. So I found the seal, and now my first set of objectives is I either install Rain Engine 8 or open or send caches to the Citadel. And I have to do three of those. So that is what I'm currently working on. And then my next plague that's going to happen during the storm, Hostility discovered from Dangerous and Forbidden Glade is increased by 15. Yikes. I've already opened... I think I've already opened three, right? Yeah, I've already opened three. So that means I'm going to get 45 hostility increase. 
So that's going to put me over to hostility 4 during the storm. So that's going to really hurt. Yeah, I'm excited for the War Tales DLC. A raider from Ash Monster wrote, I will get it eventually. Yeah, I'm excited for the War Tales DLC too. The developer gave me a key to stream and I'm trying to hit them up to see if they can give me also the DLC. They recently gave me, well, sorry, they, they gave me the War Tales DLC back when War Tales was launched out of early access. And I actually streamed um, quite a bit of War Tales prior to the Queen Hands trial. And the the Pirates DLC is releasing today, I believe. Looking forward to that. It's really fun. War Tales is so fun. And I was able to name some of my companions um, out of the uh, out of my uh, Twitch uh, subs. Complete non sequitur question. Just started up a town on the Fishman Ritual site modifier. No orders. How rough a time I am in for. A lot. <laughs> if you're new to the game and you have not gotten a lot of upgrades on your Citadel, the Fishman Ritual is going to be hard. What difficulty did you set yourself up for? I mean, if you did it at a lower difficulty, it's probably not as bad. Right, but if you actually have it as higher than Prestige 1, then you're in it for a rough time because you have to earn all these reputation points, 18 of them, without orders. Viceroy, okay, so Viceroy is not as bad. Viceroy is not as bad because that's only 14 points. So that means you're going to need to open a lot of glades to try to get as many reputation points through through event solve and then some of combination of that you're gonna need to get reps from your your species so what species do you have by the way better pick your first blueprints carefully yes he's correct because your first blueprint your first few blueprints that you get the three blueprints is it's going to be the thing that you're stuck with for quite a while because to get your second and your third, you have to earn reputation or events to get those extra blueprints. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to slam resolve early. Beaver, lizard, foxes. Oh, okay. So if you've got foxes, you should be able to get probably five points from the foxes. So five out of the 14... And then if you've got lizards, you should be able to also get three points from the lizards. Beaver, you might have it rough. You probably won't see beaver points until very late game. And you might be able to get two points off the beaver. So we're looking at, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So you probably need to come up with four points from events, at least. Right? Plan five for the, the, the foxes. Three from the lizards, which is usually a safe bet. That's 15, 22, right? 15, 22, because 15 plus 7 is 22, and the 27, tw sorry, 22 plus 7 is 29. So you're looking at probably three from the lizards, and the foxes can probably get you five points. It's like what? Tw uh, 15, uh, 20, 25. 30 and 35 those are those are achievable those points right for foxes and then maybe the beavers two points and then four from from your events all right so now i've got blood flower on my run and i'm not gonna hide my food like i normally do so what i'm going to do I need to find more foxes to throw in there to take care of the blood flower. And I need humans, or sorry, on that to slow my patient down. I'm going to take the fox off of that. And I'm going to take this right away as soon as I can. The pickle goods combo? Yeah, the, the pickle goods combo group. So that should really help you with the resolve. Exactly what Dark said. Wow, I'm actually really uh, pleased to hear a couple of Ashes players are actually into Against the Storm. Very nice. 
Yeah, I'm seeing these chats from Ash's channel here. My year one glade had a carpenter rune, unfortunately, so I got a, a tool source. Oh yeah, that's going to really help you with the uh, chest solves. Alright, so... Let's see here. We're going to get that, right? Oh shit, I probably need to put this in here, otherwise it's going to take forever. Where's my other little box? Alright, we need to put some... Workers... Lurkers... Yep. Workers, lurkers. Stonecutters camp, yeah. Alright, so I've got three dangerous things going on exactly at the same time right now, guys. I've got two Blight Cauldron. I've got one Blood Flower running. And I need to figure out how to either take care of the other caches. Or... Or do the Rain Engine installation. The one on the left actually is not bad for the food. Neither is the one left on this, but I also have 15 tools soon. Ooh, the, ooh, this is not bad either. What is that? Woodcutter's care? Oh, that's not that big of a deal. But this is not bad. Okay. I can probably do that. Yeah, I could probably do that. That needs to finish, right? That is three minutes, 11 seconds till the storm. I got two minutes, three minutes roughly there. Three, yeah, okay, that will finish before the storm. That one I is also going to finish before the storm. And then my next storm plague is the hostility, right? That is going to be rough. Yeah, that's going to be really rough. And then I need to get more provisions, right? I need to do trades. I don't want to trade my thing there. Seven is awful. Oh my god, these are awful trades. That's really good, though. Yeah, I don't have any tablets on any of this. Yeah, I don't have any tablets on any of this. All right, so you, let me take you off. I need to get flour somehow. That's the other thing too. Okay. All right, so that's fine for now. All right, so let's see here. Do I want to install it? What did I get? I got the Monastery. I only have the distillery to install on, right? Crude workstation I've already installed. And then that means I should be able to get this. Um, all right, that's going to be a problem. I think I have to win through the caches and I need to do trades. Yep, I'm going to have to probably do some trades soon, too. And the hearth. I need to stick the hearth over there, right? That's going to give me a point. The other one's going to give me a point. Okay. Okay, okay. The cache is going to solve one of the problems that I have, right? Hang on. I need to get the packs. Wait, did I not get my pack of provisions? Oh, you didn't proc the pack of provision. 
Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to lose one piece of wood. For seven, right? Well, that will give me some fabric back. All right, I'm gonna okay, I'm okay with that one. Once that finishes. Okay, that one's done. That's the other one. Ooh, I need a free tower. Ooh, I got a druid slot. Ooh, juicy. I'm gonna go with the press, right? We're gonna go with the press. This is my other building, right? All right, so that I can stick that there and that there too, right? So that the press is fine. And then, uh oh, here we go. I'm gonna switch the fox out. Children. So I can't do flattering. Okay, yeah, so we're set on that one. We're fine on that one. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no, harpies. Harpies are not happy. Harpies are not happy. Harpies are not happy. I need to figure out how to make harpies happy, guys. I can't let them leave. I need 10 harpies total. I need 10 harpies total. How do I prevent the harpies from leaving? Oh, dear Lord. Where are my other harpies? Light post, right? Shit, where's the other harpy? It's probably over here, right? Hmm, yellow water? Maybe yellow water. Oh god. Oh wait, should she not? Oh, I didn't I canceled the last minute. That's bad. I can't get any better than that. Shit. Oh my god, what am I gonna do about these harpies? I can't do anything about the harpies. I'm I've used up all my water. I need to get down from I can't favor, right? There's no favoring either. There's no favoring. Oh my god, what am I going to do about these harpies? I'm going to lose a harpy, huh? I can't do anything about the harpies. None of these buildings make harpies happy. That's not a harpy building, no. This is not a harpy building. That's not a harpy building either. And I can't favor them. Oh boy, this is really rough. I think we might lose some harpies. I'm thinking here. What else can I do? I mean, I don't want to use my fuel, right, to get out of the I actually don't have enough to begin with. I don't know about that. I'm thinking. Okay, that gets me. I'll take that now, actually. Because then that allows me to get the monastery up. Oh, the clothier. Ooh, the harpy homes. Ooh. Clothier, if I can get that up and running. Yeah. This gives three points, but I get this up and running. I can put three people in there, right? Two people in there. 
that gets them happiness. Right. Oh god, we're screwed, guys. We are so screwed. We are screwed. We are screwed. How fast can I... get this up and running? Okay. We can favor them, right? We can favor them. Not burn the water. Okay, alright. We have a plan. I didn't lose that much fuel, did I? I did lose a lot of fuel. Alright, and then we're gonna put the harpies over here. From over there. There. That should help a little bit, right? We can cut this off, right? No. I need that. Yeah, I need that. Alright, so now we gotta get humans to be happy. Just enough. Okay, there's nothing there. So I've got six rain engines installed. I need, what, two more? I can probably put it in the distillery. That's one of them. Yeah, let's do the distillery as the other one. How many pipes do I have? I have 14, right? So we'll stick it in the distillery. And that requires some fabric. Yeah, what's all right, so we should be able to get some fabric off of that, right? And then the humans. We're gonna have to crank up the humans thing. So I need more humans. Let's take this off. These guys are done. Alright, so humans are good. Close call. And I need this done, too. Alright, so that one I can... Put those guys in there. And then I want to get the monastery up as soon as possible. Yeah, I need to get the monastery up as soon as possible. Because that lowers my hostility by 100. And then you don't need to be there. And I need to do the trades. Which I'm okay with this. One for five? I'll trade all of that. What is that? That's key two, right? Yeah, that's fine. Creating all my parts. All right. And then you need fabric, right? You need fabric. Um, let's see here. Me on P5 checking in on in on Ron on the BS Ron has has going on. Maybe my run isn't so hard. <laughs> yeah, my run is kinda crazy right now. Ah, uh, that's never gonna happen. I'm gonna take the right. That's, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Alright, so this... I didn't lose a harpy yet, so that is good. That's good. That's excellent. It's Bill and Ted. Alright, so we're gonna put in... Another farm here, right? And we're gonna put an herb garden over here. 
I'm going to put one of these over here. Like that. I'll stick that there. That's fine. I will go like this. Mm, hang on. Let me see. i redo that. Oops, 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 oops. So we're going to stick this over here. All right, yeah, we'll stick that over there. I'll stick this over here. Um, and I need that warehouse there. Okay. I think we're going to be okay. That just needs a piece of fabric off of this chick. All right, so we are safe. We are safe. All right, so this is an example of what I was saying earlier about how when you hit the Z key and you can see the blight rot. So you can have blight rot here and it actually grew, but it's closed, right? The, the flower is actually closed. So if I generate more Blight Rot here, and this goes to level 2, like a second Blight Rot, it's not actually cor going to corrupt the hearth because I actually closed it earlier when I did the burning. Um, so this is just an example, right? So here... Okay, so... We are at plus 60 corruption per minute. So the higher difficulty... I think Prestige... I'm trying to think here. I think 11 or something, right? Prestige 11. Or 12, where the Blight Rot Corruption is harder. It's plus 90 Corruption per minute. So since we're on the easy mode, Prestige 5, we don't get the plus 90. So what this bar here says is that it will corrupt next turn, next turn, not this turn, because it's already um, it's already inactive. So next turn at the next storm, year five, this will be generating at six corruption per minute. And to combat that, right, we have resist. So right now, when you look at the level one and level two, notice how it says it's got plus um, resist by 150 and another one by 150. So the hearth originally is a thousand in terms of the resist. That's how much time you have till the corruption fully takes over. So when you get the resist of off of the um, the hubs, it went up to 1,300, and that buys you a little bit more time before the the corruption reaches 100%. And the percentage is based on the corruption per minute rate, uh, factoring in the time related to the storm. So let's say the storm is actually longer uh, than four minutes, the rate actually will be significantly higher because this rate percentage is based off of the storm length. Shorter storm length, uh, it will actually have less of a corruption rate and you won't have to worry about that. But longer storms generally is good because then you can actually have more time to burn the... Uh, the uh, the cis the, the blight rot cis and the key to viewing where the cis is located is z it's called the um the blight rot overlay right there's a blight rot overlay right here and i mapped it to z so you want to look at that every once in a while hit the z key to see what your corruption rate is or how many corruptions you have and generally the magic number here that I played with is roughly around 14 to 16 is tolerable. 17 is kind of like borderline and I wouldn't risk 17. So as soon as you see a 17 counter here, right, you want to get a second blight post running. Add more workers because three workers are not going to in the given amount of time that they um, burn the blight rot and the movement that they have to, you know, take to get to them, uh, you will not probably get the 17th one in time, and then which in which case 
the corruption will already overtake your hearth and you're going to lose three villagers. So I usually panic around 16. And if you panic, you the first thing you want to do is hold the shift click or the shift key and then left mouse button to, to turn off all your water. Right, because otherwise your water is going to generate blight as well. Right, right here, this is going to generate blight once that hits 32. And I really don't have a choice on this one. But I, I, it's not that big of a deal because I know from playing the Queen Hand's Trial, the last objective just requires me to burn 35 cis. So right now, and it's retro, so I don't mind burning those. Do you need multiple hydrants? How many torches can each store all right so i explained this earlier in the stream when i started um that each fighter can only carry one purging fire in his hand so when he runs all the way over here let's say you have like the corruption over here somewhere right and there's three of them if that fire that blight fighter runs over here and there's three or four he can only do one burn and he has to run all the way back to recharge uh, from the fuel reserve. Even though the fuel reserve is stored in your warehouse, it's technically only accessible from the blight post and the hydrant. So what you want to do is you want to build a hydrant over here if you had like three or four here. So that way the blight post fighter, once he burns it, he'll just refuel over at the hydrant and then keep going. Otherwise, he's going to keep running back this way and back and forth. And you don't want to do that. Now, typically, if you only get three and you don't you don't think you're going to get more than four and you have like three guys here, then chances are it might be OK that three guys run this way because then they'll take out the, the blight all at once in one pass. So anyways, that's just a little tip there. Oh, cool. It's local. I can just use blight post, right? So if your blight post like really close by, then they just go like this and boom, boom, boom. That's why like when you see me design my layout for the town, I generally put all my production buildings surrounding the, the warehouse and then the blight post kind of like in the center where everything um, is going to um, build up in blight. Blight only appears every third clearance uh, on your warehouse blight only appears for wherever you generate blight and each building has a cap limit of three blights only with the exception of the warehouse the warehouse can go really high up now when the building reaches a total of three blight counter the fourth and so on will bleed over to the next building whatever the next building is available right so you might actually see blight on the shelter home and and then it'll bleed all over from there. So what happens when you delete the shelter home? Well, the blight will then transfer over to the next thing. And I mentioned earlier in the stream that if, you know, theoretically it is possible to delete all the buildings and then have it slowly migrate back towards the center where the main warehouse is. You can't delete your warehouse. So that's the only building and the hearth you can't. These are the only two buildings you can't delete. So if you want to, you could theoretically delete all your buildings and migrate all the blight back but it's not a good idea obviously for various reasons so hopefully that answers your question or helps some of you guys learn about blight rot definitely better than what the tutorial can tell you the tutorial is just awful all right we're gonna get is the trader gonna show up 57 seconds, right? Alright. The worst is over. We can turn this off so we don't waste any of the water. I hate wasting water. Okay. We need a way to make flour, right? Okay, I need to load this up. No, oh, I don't need the veggies. Alright, you. We're going to take you off. We're going to take you off. And we're going to throw you in here. 
Yo, Michelle, yo. All right, what do you got for me? Ooh, 0.5, huh? I don't need it, though. Ooh, bars for berries, huh? Bars for berries. Interesting. How many berries do I have left? 18, 18, 16. So 18, 18 plus 16. What is that? 18 plus 18 plus 16. That's 52. So I can get like what? It's 5, right? 5 times 2 is 10. That's eh, not bad, I'll take it. I'll get at least 10. I want, definitely want this. Pretty sure I'm not going to do the ancient tablet quest. I don't know. I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, hang on. Let's see what else is coming. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be useful. This actually saved me during the... Um, something similar to this during the uh, Queen Hand's trial. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get rid of that. Okay. All right, let's see here. I need more harpies, right? I need a total of the X harpies. What's your deal? All right, so I need bricks. All right, I need bricks. And I need, I need planks. I need, definitely need planks with my money. And then I definitely need some extra of these. And maybe some of this. Oh, five units? Eh, fine. You can have it. Alright, that's fine. And I need to do trades, right? This is going to be... This guy here. And this guy needs something. P2, right? P2? Smoldering City is the top one, right? I don't know. P2. Well, I guess I'll go with that. That's fine for now. And I need to get the rain engine installed. And what do you need? Alright, you need bricks, right? This is going to help me with my humans. When the time comes. I don't need it now. I don't need it now. We should be fine. Let me swap this out, though. I want to slow down that bar. And then this is... Fabrics, right? I definitely should get more fabrics, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Alright. Maybe a couple of these, just in case. Alright. Maybe another one? 60? Jesus. 14? Yeah, alright, I'm okay with that. Let's hurry up with that. Yeah, LOL. And you're bringing me money. Yeah, you're bringing me money. And I need to get the thingy installed, right? The distillery? And one more building. I need to get one more building installed. And then this one here. I don't need this there, right? Let me take this off. Oh, shit. Harpies. Yeah, I don't need that guy anymore. Not diligently? I need another house, right? I need another house for this dude. Alright, let's see here. Do 
Big Shelter? Maybe, yeah, Big Shelter. That's actually the most cost effective. All right, so you can go over here, right? That gets me more fuel. Tonight, Rashali. Tonight, Rashali. Come on. And you're done. Let's take you off. This one requires whatever that is, right? Oil is useful. We're going to use oil. Yeah, we're, we're using oil as our fuel. Because there's nothing on the board that needs oil right now. Yep, there's nothing on the board that needs oil. Alright, so I need to install- find something to install. Or solve two things. The left is not bad, actually. The left on that one's not bad. So is the left on this one. Yeah, you know what? I'll take the left. On that one. And I will take the left on this one as well. Because that gets me movement speed. And we actually got all 12, right? We all got, yeah, we got all 12 and 14, so that's fine. Okay. And I just need more trades. You are this guy, right? And this is... Hang on. So that's 10, and the next one's 20. And we're already at 3, right? I think I only need this. That's it. I think that's it. That will get level 1 and 2. Alright, level 1 and 2. And I know I'm eventually going to need... I'm eventually going to need to do level standings, right? What's my next plague? My next plague... Fuel in the settlement is disappearing at a rate of 2 units per ten, every 10... Ten, oh, no! Fuel... Disappearing... That's bad. It's gonna be really bad. It's gonna be really bad. Alright, that's gonna be really bad. I think I need to hide all my wood. Yeah, I need to hide my wood. Or just make more of it. More of this. Okay. Um, that's gonna be bad. Hang on. Wait, why are you not happy? Oh, because I'm not favoring you, huh? You're not happy because I'm not favoring you. Oh no, these harpies. Oh my goodness. I need another way to lower hostility here. Level 4 is bad. Level 4 is bad. That's only going to subtract 30, right? It's not going to be enough. Yeah. 
Jesus. Feel, right? Feel. Alright, so what I need to do... Oh god, I don't have another harpy. Where's my other harpy? Alright, what I'm gonna do here is, first of all... I'm gonna load up all the wood to hide it. Okay. We have seven pieces of wood left. And we don't have enough oil. And this one right here, right? Gets me off of that. All right, we'll leave you here on that. That's fine. So we're off of the two. And the harpies are still pissy. For a little bit here. There, that's fine, right? All right, that should be fine. We're safe again. We're safe. I need a way to make flour. We do have a way to make flour. Fuel is going to be the biggest problem. Alright, so we can't lose wood anymore. So the only thing we're losing is... Oh shit, we're going to be losing... We're definitely going to be losing shit. I need to get more workers on the oil. Yeah, okay. And we're going to need to get more of the sea marrow. Alright, so I did install everything, right? Hey, I did install everything, huh? Oh, I did install everything. I also got the cache open, too. I did three things. Alright, so... Earn reputation points, which I did. From Resolve. Or earn three more reputation points from events. I solved two event. Don't know if I should go for that other one. Silent looting. Oh, but it's not retro. F me. It's not retro. It's not retro. Wrap two loves. Alright, so these are closed. Okay, those are closed. These are done. Let's see, do I have another? Yeah, let's go ahead and collect that. So what do I want to do? I think I'm going to earn my thing through standing, right? Yeah, I want to earn all mine through standing. So that means I need this one. And the one after it is 80 coins, right? P3? P4. Oh, nice. Should be able to get that. So 15 on that one, right? That means I need to get 11 more for that one. 
And then after that, I also need one, the, either the top or the bottom. Oh. I'll bite. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's close enough. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, I should build a beacon tower. To save myself. In case shit hits the fan. And I need to get five harpies. Well, I don't need to get five harpies. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Hang on, this tablet quest. If I solve two things, I get that, right? I should be able to get the last quest without using water. And then if I solve this over here... Hmm. Yeah, there's no more chests. There's a large in that one. That's a tavern. There's a medium in that one. Okay, the medium's not bad. I think what I'll do is I'll go I'll go over here, pop this, see what that where that leads me. Yeah, see I don't have enough for this. Oh, I wish I'd done that one first, because that plus one would have been better. What event do you need to solve for the fourth seal? Dangerous or forbidden? Yeah, dangerous. Or it's dangerous. Sorry, it's forbidden. Two forbiddens, basically, at the same time. Two forbiddens at the same time with six tablets, which I have. If I solve two forbiddens, I get the sixth tablet. Easy. Right there. Okay. I just need what? Well, I mean, I technically don't necessarily need harpies. Because more people equals more problems. I just need to get lots of... Lots of grains, right? Flower, okay, so Harpy can go over this one too. We're out of yellow water, guys. Now there is a yellow water thingy over here. That will help me. Yeah, more people equals more spare pats for production. <laughs> more spare pats for production. Parts, spare parts. <laughs> spare parts. Houses have room for more villagers. I'll take that, actually. And... That one, right? P4, 3? I just need, what, 8? Right, in the city... I could sell a tablet if I solve more than 2, right? Everybody's happy. Holy shit! Everybody's happy! What's going on? This is not right. Something's wrong. Everybody's happy. The world is not right. My world's on fire. How about yours?
I don't want them to be super happy, right? Let's just slow that down a little bit there. The kiln's good, right? Yeah, kiln's good. That gets me jerkies. These guys can jerk their meat. Jerk the meat. Get some jerkies. Meat jerkies. Now we need to get more than this, right? All right, we need coal and we need wood. I guess we'll take on more people. More people equals more problems, but I guess we'll have to do what we must. Ooh, longer drizzle. Yes, I will take it. We actually have six tablets. How about that? Hang on. We can probably sell one of them to the queen, right? I just need more of this. I don't need extra. Well, yeah, I don't need that. Uh, I don't know. I might need it. I might need it. I don't want to give up something that I might need. Might need. Jesus. All right, close enough. Well, oh God, it's four, 15, 12. All right, close enough right now. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll bite, it's close enough. So the queen, we need to get something more for the queen. For the top row, right? Eggs? Yeah, the queen needs more. Queenie. Alright, what's the next mystery? Or plague. Cooked food, oh, cooked and raw, two every ten seconds? Ooh, that's terrible. It's gonna be terrible. We need to transfer more people to this side, right? Yeah, we need to transfer people. To get to 14 on this side. Yeah, is the 10% movements... Is that 20% movement speed? Which one? This is, you're right, is for the woodcutters only, though. It's only for woodcutters. I'm not too worried about that. The warehouse is like right over here. I don't want to waste my money because I need to save 80. I need to have 80 for the one right after. Terrible like a beaver or just ordinary terrible? <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Uh, it's terrible like a beaver. Terrible, yes. Beaver haters haven't played for a while. If it was all movement speed, maybe. Yeah, if it was all movement speed, then yes. Everybody. But beaver movement, or just just people movement speed, woodcutter movement speed is not that great. I mean, I only have one right now, right? It's like, who cares, right? Who cares? Who cares? Since I'm not trying to win on Resolve, I'm not pushing my thing right now. Speaking of, why don't I calm this down a little bit? Yeah, let's go ahead and take the food off. Since I'm not trying to win on Resolve. 
I don't need them to be happy. Happy is not part of the deal. Yeah, we need, we don't want happy people. No happy people. No happy shiny people. There you go. Okay. Oh, I still need two on this side, don't I? Shit. Yeah, I still need two that side. Alright, so this side... I want one of these. And I want one of these. Actually, you know what? Let's just do... One, two, three, four. There. Do all races have the same movement? Yes, all races have the same movement. Okay. My world's on fire. How about yours? Uh-oh. Alright, so we need to get this loaded. Come on. Somebody. Somebody save me. There you go. Alright, that's perfect, right? Nope. Actually, let me put that there, just in case I forget. I don't want to forget. So I want to get towards this. That should be solvable, right? In the final stretch. Alright, so the queen standing, I need to get this higher, right? I need five points. Five, six, wait. I need seven plus five. I need a total of twelve on the top. It totals. 12 on the top, right? That means I need 9 more on the top. Alright, you guys now can eat. And then flower, right? Um, oh, you're... Oh, shit. Oh, where where are all my pipes? What happened to all my pipes? I need two more. Well, there you go. Luckily, we got those bars. We got those bars. We have enough? Yeah, we have enough. More than enough, actually. Ah, uh, Raptula. Raptula. Alright, we got the oh shit button here, which is great. Alright, the oh shit button basically allows us to lower our hostility by 100 if we panic. Or if we need to increase the resist of the hearth. Which right now, 143 is very manageable. When you're looking at 400%, when you see 400%, and you're higher than 16, that's definitely an oh shit button. You want to use this. Scouts work faster? Okay, that's another oh shit button. Oh, oh shit. Oh no, I need nine. Oh shit. It's time for the oh shit panic button. Yeah, 400% corruption, Monka, that's correct. Can he three humans, instead of four, plant the full farm with longer drizzle? Yes, actually. But here's the thing. You want to sometimes be on the safe side, right? So having more doesn't hurt because if they finish their job, then you don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? If they finish their job, then just take them out. 
and then move them somewhere else. And just have them, you know, re relocated somewhere else to do the, the other task. Um, yeah, all right, so hang on. I need more yellow water folks over here on this dude, right? I'm gonna leave that guy there in case I forget. Like sometimes forget. Actually, no, 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 that's not true. I'll take you out on this because we're gonna we're gonna want to get off of that during the storm. Where's all my humans at? The brewery, the press, the press, the D D press. So that is going to be level three, right? We don't want to be there. Extra food consumption is a bad idea. So I want to get into this and figure out where the hell that goes. All right, so the top now needs nine. I need nine on the top. Boy, that's not the city, right? That's not Smoldering City. Shit. Oh, shit. I don't want... Oh, shit. Oh, no! I'm not selling wood. Maybe a little bit. That's just a little bit. All right, I need to put two people back on that side. There. Okay, why not? Can't you eat trees? <laughs> um, no, I, I, I don't want to waste my, my wood. Because it increases hostility, right? So Brian, Brian for every tree that I chop, I lose, or, or I, uh, every 10 trees, I increase my hostility by 6. So the idea is that you don't want to, uh, to give away your wood unless you really need to, right? Really, really need to. And so I have stopped producing wood through this. Oh shit, I should have stopped. Oh my goodness. Because wood is very hard to come by. Right. We only need, like, what? Re resolve? I only need a few, right? I mean, technically I could still win on resolve, right? I could probably earn six more points on resolve if I wanted to. If I wanted to. Hang on, this is the 10, right? Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're safe, we're safe. Uh-huh. I'm trying to chop through this, it takes forever. Okay, what is this? This is the year of the rats, right? Foods are disappearing rapidly. We can't favor, right? Yeah, okay. I think, yeah, they're gonna, oh my god, they're gonna make me, oh no, I can't favor during corruption. Is it the year, is this the year to panic? Do I hit the panic button? Yeah, see, it won't let me favor. All right, you can, you can eat some coats there. Bunch of coat sniffers. Go ahead and sniff some of that.
Nope, not a good enough. I can't favor them until the seven goes away, right? That five has to go away, and then I can favor them. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Yeah, I can't favor. Favoring's blocked. Oh, boy. Nope. Nope. Yes. Burn. Let it burn. Coffee break. Alright, so now I can favor you. Oh, oh, humans. Oh, hey, they, they, they got enough coats. Alright, cool. Coats with the fur. All right, I need standing, right? The top row. All right, how much money do I have? 15? 65? I need 20. I need an extra five coins. I need an extra five coins. I don't need a win through the this here. Finally, the tree is down, right? Oh, there's another one. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's another one. Is that, what is that, two? Or, or it's two charges? Yeah, it's fine. I'm just curious to see what the unicorn, where the unicorn takes us. Alright, the queen. How much more do I need? I need seven points off the queen. She is this. That's two, right? Six, seven, eight. Damn it. Alright, I'll fine. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Ooh, cannibalism. Cannibalism or roots per minute. How mean do we want to be? Can I be your course? <laughs> Harpy is in shambles. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the roots per minute, I guess. Sure. All right, what's the next plague? Negative force mysteries require lower hostility. Oh no! Oh, that's gonna be the oh shit button then. That's definitely a time to panic. Oh man, where are all my people at? Okay. No, we don't need that many. It's five. Well, ten, eleven maybe? Where are all my humans at? Okay, I've got the monasteries, right? Alright, more people equals more problems, so we don't want to get too many people here. We only have 10 planks left, right? But we should be able to get the standing, though, in about 1 minute and 41 seconds. What do you got for me? I can't spend my money. 
Yeah, I can't spend my money. I need the 81 coins. Well, technically I could. What is that, two? I could spend like three coins and be okay. Six. Hmm. Forty. Five. Sure, I'll bite. I don't think I need anything else, right, guys? I think I have everything I possibly need. Okay, hang on, hang on. So if I go into the Dark Lord, the Dark Gate, I need three. Right, three. Yep, I already got the three. I happen to go there. The Dark Gates. Or sorry, no, the, what is it? Dark Gate, right? And what is this other one? This is Ancient Burial. The Ancient Burial requires tools. Okay. Ancient bur Burial requires tools. Alright, let's see where the unicorn leads me. Shit! It did lead me in there, huh? Alright, that's fine. That's exactly how we're going to win. That is our winning move. Alright, you know what? Even though it's more people, more problems, I'm going to go ahead and take them in. Okay. Let's go! Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Things are gonna be really bad, really messy. It's gonna get really ugly, guys. Very ugly soon. Trust me. Things are gonna get ugly. Somebody died. We do want the tavern, though. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go there. Let me try to get that. Shit, where's my other harpies? Coats with the fur. All right, you're working on it, right? Chop, chop, chop. All right, so our standing level three is done. So we're going to do a trickle win here. Boom, 80 coins is needed, right? Or serve 25 times for 60 seconds. Ooh, that's terrible. All right, so I need to solve two shit or burn... Oh, I've already used 600. Huh? I just need to burn... 13? I need to burn 13. It's not 13 this year. But... Should be able to do this, right? Actually, the left is easier. Sure. It was actually easier. Somebody dies. Somebody I used to know just died. Somebody I used to know just died. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. My unicorn. Okay. That's one rep for everybody, right? And this is hostility increase for every tree fallen, so we don't want to fall. 
chop any more trees. Easy peasy! We are going to win. We are going to win. I need to stop chopping trees, right? Yeah, okay. So all of our trees have stopped. Where's my humans? So this is how you win, guys. Right? So the tablet, I only need to solve two, or one more, technically one more, right? I get another tablet, right? But I have to, okay, so the rule here is I need to solve two Forbidden Glade events within no more than 1,200 seconds between them. What is that? It's like, like 20 minutes apart? I think that's like 20 minutes apart, right? Yeah, it's like 20 minutes apart. That's a lot of time. So we have this. We have this, guys. We're gonna let them have a party. Party on me. Brewery is faster? Sure. Party on me. No wood cutting, right? No wood cutting. No, this is terrible. I'll just take the money. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money. Alright, what's the negative effect this year? Lower hostility. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. People may die. We got the tablet. This event needs to be done in three minutes, right? In three minutes, that's before the storm. And that's also before the storm. We got this, guys. We got this. The queen's got nothing over us. We got this. Legit win. We're legit. I don't really need the farm, but you know what? Whatever. I'll... I'll bite on it. Yeah, I don't need the fuel, but you know what? Mm. Sure. I kind of want the fuel, though. Hang on, hang on. Let's get the trader over here. You can come and help us. Yeah, we'll win before the storm. Not a big deal. Lemonade, I'll buy this. Eh, we don't need anything else, right? Hi, bye. Is everybody happy? We have a utopia? No, shit. I thought I had another fox. I should probably put these foxes on that. That would have been fine. Alright, so the tavern quest, right? I have a brewery, I have a small farm, I have a tavern, right? Easy peasy. Collect 50 reputations through villager resolve. Oh, okay. Shepin claiming his, uh, his tickets. Tickets. Where are all my people at? I got nothing. I got nothing if I don't have you. Burp, 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 burp. Where, do I, where can I get people? I, you know what? I don't need you. I don't really care about the farming that much, right? 
There ya go. Everybody's happy. Moving to the left. We're Beyonce. Beyonce, move to the left. I don't need any of this. Pretty sure I don't need any of this, right? Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, cashing out. Yep, we're beyonce now, guys. Here we go. 35, 32, 14. This is a beautiful run, guys. Beautiful run. I also have Harpy Resolve. Look at that. I just need ale. Can I call the trader over? No. If I make ale, that's that makes things even better, right? Fifty ale. Uh oh, uh oh. Mystery. The scary mystery. Alright, this is my oh shit button, right? Decrease the hostility by hundred? Nope, didn't work actually. But that's okay, guys. That's okay. You know what? I'm gonna wait a little longer. So I can get that ding sound. Complete orders, right? You know what? I do want to complete orders. Just so I can complete this here. Right, yeah. Let's switch this out, right? MIT, your T, all right. Oh, the harpy is. Oh, I didn't finish that in time. Eh, all right, that's fine. No big deal. All right, guys, here we go. Spoilers alert ahead of time. If you want, if you don't want to get spoiled, it's time for Voltron. We complete the Ancient Seal, number four. Right. That's it. Time for Voltron. Nosedive. Nice. I got my Bronze Seal. I've got my Serving Ale. I've got Win It On Prestige 5. Nice. Nice. I got 21, right? Yep, 21 fragments. The Blight Storm is almost here, so no further ex expedition can embark during the cycle. Select the compass icon to finish the cycle. I the cycle. Wow, this is the first time I've actually seen this. I actually saw this during... Uh, this used to say, visit the Smoldering City to complete the Queen Hand's trial. I've never actually seen this dialogue for ending the cycle, guys. That is interesting. Oh, she has something to say. Well, aren't you in a good mood? Lori looks at you with interest. Any news to share? I did it. I reforged the seal. Well, you look at well, will you look at that? Her face lights up in a sincere smile. You actually made it. Well done. That must have been quite the challenge. Yeah, that was all right. <laughs> But, as much as I hate to burst your bubble, you should know that it is not the end of your journey. This is only the beginning. How so? So far, you've only reforged the Bronze Seal, and while this is undoubtedly an admirable feat, there are still others, more menacing seals out there. Lori's eyes sparkle with pride. Keep it up, kid. You're a fast learner. Yes, I am. The Crown has already recognized your efforts a little more, and you may even be allowed to venture near the Gold Seal one day. Oh, okay. The Gold Seal, huh? The Gold Seal. The Gold Standard. Win with one small farm, brewery, and tavern. Yes. Very nice. Lori is such a conflicted character. She is. One minute, she'll be like, Oh, don't go on that uh, Queen Hand's trial. And here, she's like trying to get me to do more seals, right? Win a game with prestige higher or difficulty home decoration. I'll take it. 
All right, so we're not ready to... Oh, yeah, this one I could take, right? That's home decoration. Reforge of Bronze Seal. Take it. So the reason why I'm not taking these here is because it will bloat my cornerstone pool. And I'm not interested in having this as one of the things that pop up as a choice. Because if it shows up as a choice, that means I, I'm i less likely to get the cornerstones I want. So these are really, really bad, and I almost never take these. There's definitely better cornerstones in the blueprint, or the cornerstone pool. And this one is good, but I currently don't have a problem solving the glades in a timely manner. I'll take this when we get to the prestige modifier that says um, event solve reduction time by 30%. So this is not as important. Eventually, I'll take it, though. All right, so I can't upgrade yet because I'm still missing the 12 artifacts. But once I hit this little button here, I will get my artifact, right? So I got 35 extras for completing the seal. I didn't get any artifact this run. But I did get machinery, so I guess I got 10% of that. That's 30, right? So I must have gotten 30. Yep. So let's go ahead and end the cycle. Ooh, 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 ah. Ooh, ooh, ah. Nice, 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 nice. Now... Oh my god, Fishman Ritual and Greed? No, we're not going to do that. Now, I actually can get what I want. So we get Time Orders. Queen's Impatience is reduced by minus 2%. Amazing. Time Orders is really nice. There's a lot of really good juicy ones. I'll take it. So here I unlock the ex Daily Expedition, which I never do. The only reason I'm unlocking this is because I need the Impatient Reduction. And to get to the Fuel Kitchen, I need to go through this. Ooh, ooh, ah. Now I get the, the fuel kitchen, which is the thing I really want. Ooh, ooh, ah. Now I only have 58 left. What do I want to do with my 58, guys? I get an extra bonus yield. Reroll. I don't really care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Yeah, the real the thing I want is in this column here, right? Um, wait, the bricks, right? Bricks? Who who gives me bricks? I think it's this column, right? Who gives me bricks? It's not this one, right? It's not. The, oh, that's fabric. Oh, I eventually need to get to the fabric. Shit. Because the fabric is used for the field kitchen. I definitely want to get towards this. Where is the... Oh my god, it's 12... Oh no, I gotta go through that. Embarkation points, I can't get that right. Vision, yeah, vision is very good. I'm looking for the bricks. Where, where's the bricks one? Which line has bricks? Which line has the bricks? I'm trying to find the bricks one. Oh my god, where's the bricks? <laughs> Where is the bricks? Holy shit. I suppose, where's, which one's the freebie bricks? We definitely want to get the, the last stand, right? Eventually we want, to, we want to be there. We want to be there, too. Might have to save up my thing. Where's the damn bricks? Or did I already get the bricks? I don't think I got the bricks, right? Hang on. No, I didn't get bricks. I'm looking for the bricks. So, happy you're reforging the seal, but when you want to give your hand away, suddenly she has a problem. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Exactly. She's all happy I complete the seal. I'm trying to find the bricks column. Oh 
Where's the damn bricks? Which one of these are the bricks? I'm looking for the bricks starting resource. Oh, okay. All right, that is pretty, pretty close. What is that? 58, right? So I got, what, 18 left? Oh, it's going to take a while. But that is a good one to take, though. The Harpy. I think the Harpy building is good to take. I'll take it. And then my next one will be bricks. Yeah, next one will be bricks. Okay. Eventually, I want to be on this one, right? Yeah, I want to get to that one. Shit, that's a long way to go. That's going to cost me an arm and a leg to get there. I got to unlock this, right? How many more experience points? It's probably like one more run and I get a level 12. Right, one more run. I should be able to unlock that next turn or this, the other one, right? What is that? I can't get that one unless I reroll. Sorry. That one is going to be three levels, right? And then we get the... Nope, we don't get the last... Oh my god! How many more deeds do I have to do to get to that? How many arms and legs is it going to require? Time orders, right? I should be able to get that. Win a game without sending any stuff to the Citadel, right? And 80 orders. Collect 50 reputation points of villagers resolve. Okay. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. After win a game after complete three. Win a game near a dangerous land modifier. Yeah. Win a game. 15 time orders. There. Okay, I need to open more glades next time. Uh, villager resolve. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Yeah, all these are going to take a while. Win a game near the Forsaken Gods Temple modifier, right? Win a game with converted Rain Spirit Totem? Yeah, that's going to take a while. Win a game with competing, without completing any orders. Oh, no. I don't know how I feel about that one. We're not ready for that. That's this one right here, right? I'm not ready for that. I'm going to regenerate the map. I don't like this map. I want something that's got artifacts and machinery and food stocks. All right, artifacts and machine. Now, that's terrible. Yep, that's terrible. We didn't even get any order or sorry, um events, right? When we did that seal run I think we did this one already right spark do so flooded mines hang on we gotta go up a notch right we're gonna go to prestige 6 now so what do we got here 91 still 91 and 34 that one gives us more right yeah, this one gives us more. It also gives us a resupply. Have I done this one yet? What is that one? Spark, right? Sparky. No, but it doesn't really pay us anything. The decoration. Don't care. I think we did Haunted already, right? Haunted. Oh, we haven't done Haunted Forest. Oh, okay. Alright, so Haunted Forest is the way to go then. 26 though, this is 34. Spark 2 is not bad. What are we talking about here in difference? Huh. It's like 8, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, it's 8. 8 artifact difference. But this does not give me experience points. I want to get as many experience points as I can. Right, because I need to get to this. So cut through this. Cut through this. I will be at 12 next run. Right, so 437. 
Four thirty seven. Plus a two fifty two, right? Four thirty seven plus two fifty two. Two fifty two plus four thirty seven. That puts me at six eighty nine. That is not enough. Two fifty two plus four eighty seven, right? Wait, did I wait four eighty seven? Did I did I miscalculate? Four eighty seven plus two fifty two. No, four thirty seven. Four thirty seven plus two fifty two. Four thirty seven plus two fifty two. That is not enough. So luckily, the haunted forest will get us there, right? The haunted forest will tip us over. All right, the deed for the haunted forest will tip us over. So we're looking at ninety one food stocks plus the twenty two. Ninety one plus the twenty two. That puts me at 113. So by the end of this run, I'll be at 113. That gets me the 84. So 113 minus 84 puts us at 29 leftover. So we'll have a leftover at 29. We should be able to do this then, or this. But I should probably save my food stocks, right? Because none of these are really that amazing. Or if I end this run, the run after that, I can get this. All right, I kind of want that human ability, though. Man, there's so many things I want, need, but can't get. I mean, ultimately, I want to be on this one. Because that gets me more Citadel resources. I think that makes the most sense. And that's gonna cost that's gonna require three runs, right? After this one, this upcoming one. Yep, three runs. After this upcoming one. Alright, we'll do that. We'll definitely do that. Alright. So my plan is I will definitely do the haunted forest. And we will do it on Prestige 6. Completing that will get me to the next level. There's nothing else here that I can complete. For the rep, right? Win a game after opening or sending 20 abandoned cash to Citadel. Oh. Win a game in their Haunted Forest. That's the one that's going get to get us to the next level. Yeah, these are... Well, maybe Reputation, right? So I complete three Reputation Resolve. That gets me points. That's 50. If I can do three time orders, that will help. I can find totems that will help. Right. And win after discovering two dangerous glades before the end of year one. That's not going to work with this one because that, that hides everything. All right. Well, all right. So we're at Prestige 6. I'm going to put in my date here. This is December 13 still. Happy holidays, everybody. This is now cycle number six. It's Prestige Six. This is town one of Prestige Six, right? Oh boy. We do not have any humans on our run. So, beavers or lizards. The top gets me eight, the bottom gets me seven. I only have one point left. Is it the top? I guess it's the top, huh? I don't like the top choices, guy. I don't like the top choices at all. The top choice is not a good choice. More beavers, more problems. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You've been learning from watching my stream. More beavers equals more problems. That's the worst. This is really hard to pass up, too. All right, we don't need the wood. We'll just take the people. Yeah, we don't need... It's raw woodlands. It shouldn't be that bad. I'm going to take the bottom, guys. I think the bottom is probably the best choice. More beavers, more problems. Especially with harpies. We have to, like, deal with these two weak-ass... You know, races running... Around... 
And we're more likely to get reputation with lizards early too. Lizards is like my number one favorite prior to the fox update. All right, so we'll go with that. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break here and then I will come back and resume this. So, yeah, I need to take a break for a little bit and then uh, we'll finish this up. So, BRB.